Okay, good evening, January 18th, 2024. Uh, Zoning Board of Appeals meeting will be called to order 631. Um, <clears throat> members present, uh, Adam Sokolowski. David Potter. Dave Sharp. Laura Pantani. All right, so we have four and we can start with the minutes from the 10 12 2023 meeting i'll entertain a motion to accept the minutes uh i'll make a motion that we accept the minutes of uh october 12th is it 2023 yes i'll second that Okay, uh, we do a roll call. All those in favor? Dave? Uh, Dave Sharp, aye. Yep. Dave Laura Pantani, aye. Okay. David Potter, aye. Adam Sikloski, aye. Okay, uh, new business. Uh, we'll be starting a public hearing. Deerfield ZBA uh, hold a public hearing. 6.30 p.m. January 18th for a special permit filed by Yankee Candle Company for property located at 25 Greenfield Road uh, for additional sign exceeding 32 square feet pursuant to the zoning laws, Chapter 179, Section 322. Come on up to the chair. Hi, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, but to, to give some context, uh, uh, many of you may be familiar with uh, Coleman sales that we've held in the past on, on the property. Uh, we've had warehouse sales uh, uh, specifically for Yankee Candle product uh, in this annex building, formerly known as uh, our, our fitness center. We're, we've been trying something new since November, which is essentially an outlet sale for uh, uh, the Newell brands. Uh, so not just Yankee Candle, but uh, various other uh, Marmot, uh, Coleman, uh, Sharpie, so on. Uh, and we're uh, hoping to keep this as a permanent fixture uh, at, at that location. Uh, and as we try to uh, sort of drive traffic there, maybe you've seen a, a billboard on 91 uh, kind of identifying it as a as essentially a, a, a separate sale that's going on. Uh, we're trying to uh, uh, drive attention rather than people kind of wandering into the store, uh, just build awareness of where the sale is, is actually happening on the property. And maybe even people driving by or uh, who are uh, arriving at the store and not aware that this is going on, moving over to that location. So uh, essentially we've just designed a, a much larger banner to sort of wrap around the north uh, and west, the east facing uh, portion of that building that's visible uh, uh, from five and 10 and, uh, and that main entrance that we're hoping to, uh, uh, to erect. Okay, I saw the application that was submitted and um, with the picture, so, um, any, I don't have any questions. Do any other members have any questions? Um, I, I have a couple of questions. Um, I'm just, it, you just said you're, it's basically going to be a banner that's going to be put up on the side of the building. Correct. Yeah. Uh, but just larger than anything else we have on the property. Uh, and that's gonna, that's going to be a permanent banner. Yeah, well, uh, permanent as long as that uh, uh, that that sale is going on. So there's no uh, definitive end date so far. It's been successful. It's it's a relatively easy sale to execute. Uh, so at this point, it may be something that that continues throughout the entire year into uh, uh, our busy season next year and, and ongoing. Uh, so at this point, there's no intention to end it. So my I guess my concern is. Um, you know that Yankee Candle property is a pretty special property. It's um, got very nice sort of, you know, classic looking signage, uh, destination kind of place. I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, just across the line, we have a new um, pot shop with some uh, sort of Cheech and Chong signs mm -hmm. up. I think they are. You know, the characters from yep. something, something back in the seventies. I'm not too familiar with. And I guess I would suggest th those are kind of tacky. They look a little tacky and they've got these banners that are just sort of hanging up there. Um, and I, I, I guess I'm, 
surprised that if you're if Yankee Candle is wanting to sort of do a permanent sign to sort of advertise the you know these the sort of special warehouse sales. I, I would have hoped, I guess, that it would have been a little more in keeping with your, um, I don't know how to say it, but just sort of uh, less, exactly. tacky, less tacky and, and more sort of in, in keeping with that other <clears throat> part of your property. Okay. Uh, the, yeah, the banners that we, we've designed are actually pretty consistent with that. We, we have several uh, three by 10 banners as the same designers, same printers that we have in a, a couple different locations in the property. So we were sort of trying to be consistent, uh, especially in production. Uh, and it, uh, I, I can imagine maybe somewhere farther down the line, if uh, this does continue to be successful, uh, that we might want to look at something a little bit more, you know, wooden freestanding. Uh, you know, this, this originally started as uh, an intention to uh, hey, let's get through the uh, the busy holiday season with uh, with these uh, uh, big uh, you know seven by 28, uh, 28 banners, uh, and then you know somebody put the brakes on. Hey, you know you kind of like need a, a variance on this. Uh, so th this has kind of grown out of what had intended to be sort of uh, holiday uh, signage, uh, but at the same time, now that we've had time to to look at it and design it, uh, uh, just the graphics we want to make sure is very basic and straightforward uh, in terms of, uh, you know, identifying it as an outlet, but also consistent with uh, the other uh, uh, banners and similar signs that we already have on the property. Uh, namely that that first banner, as you pull right in the uh, uh, the main entrance, you'll see uh, uh, the same, a uh, similar kind of like design and style uh, right there on your right. So- Right, uh, I get that. Yep. I'm sorry. You answer your question with uh, uh, with more time and and lead time, and who knows, maybe uh, six months from now, nine months from now, the way uh, 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 Newell works and our design team works and so on, uh, we may be coming uh, forward with uh, again something more freestanding. Uh, but in order to sort of capture, especially during the slow time, uh, 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 the uh, the potential customer's attention, uh, uh, this is kind of where we landed. So I, I appreciate what. what uh, 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 the question, and I think maybe uh, longer term than what we're looking at, maybe in the next uh, six months to nine months. Uh, uh, that, that's something I can bring back to our folks at, at Yankee Candle and Newell. Yeah, because kind of what you've just said there, like the, the the stuff that's already up there seems pretty temporary, as you say, to drive traffic temporarily. And now you're thinking of keeping it open year round. And so you're basically just putting up a bigger sign that is of the same kind of banner style so i guess i would i would hope that it would not be a permanent sign like that slapped onto the side of the building um also because it's not on a flat side right it's wrapping around the corner yeah yeah and, and exactly yeah. And, and to your point like uh you know the original intent as we looked at this uh you know we went back and forth is this a uh is this a temporary sign is this a permanent sign and the fact that we couldn't identify an, uh, an end date uh, kind of turned it in during our discussions into what we're calling a permanent sign. And that doesn't mean that this is the sign that we're going to keep, uh, you know, for uh, the next, again, six months, nine months, a year, year and a half. Uh, you know, we're just sort of interested in getting something uh, 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 something up that's consistent with uh, what we already have in terms of uh, uh, graphics, uh, just a little bit larger and, and more eye-catching. Uh, so I can imagine that at some point as we look at it and hey this really is something that's going to be permanent we still don't know uh, uh you know uh, uh, traffic is certainly uh, uh slowed down not to the point where uh, we're talking about closing it uh traffic there is pretty consistent uh but we may at some point decide that you know uh you know in terms of labor and so on uh it, this may not be worth it it's only worth doing maybe during uh, uh the holiday season uh but uh but for now this is kind of uh our our best uh, capture uh, for for trying to uh, get that guest during this season, and if we do continue it, uh, then then we can absolutely look at maybe something as I said more freestanding. Uh, but the, uh, the the time with which uh, it would take for us to to try to put something like that together, uh, I, I don't anticipate having uh, coming up with something anytime anytime soon. <clears throat> Those are my comments so far. Thanks. Dave, did you see the picture? He has some other pictures here. I don't know if we can get them to you or. Um, different than the one that's on the application. 
That's uh, that well, there's the a same. picture of the building, and then there's the picture that says outlet. I just, I just wanted. It. Yeah, I've got a picture of the building with the outline of what would be there, and then a picture of the banner that would go there. Yeah. Okay. That's correct. Yeah. I have a question, Adam. Go ahead. Um, I guess my question to the applicant is, um, if you can clarify, please, is it a permanent intention or is it not really a permanent intention to hang this banner? Well, um, I guess, I kind of have the same thought, Dave, and I don't think he has the answer to that question, but we could condition it that if we, if the board wanted to approve it, we could say it's approved and we could pick a date and they could come back and, you know, you know, right. we, we always have that option um, if you're looking for some type of end date or looking to revisit it. I think Dave makes a, the other Dave, Mr. Sharp, mm -hmm. makes yeah. a great point about how tacky the yellow signs look in a neighboring community. And I think that's, you know, why people put the bylaw in that, you know, and obviously there's some temporary signs and the building inspector has some wiggle room on you know, size and what he allows. And obviously he felt this was big enough and possibly with no end date to require them to come see us. So, yeah, that's almost exactly the conversation we had. And it sounds like, uh, yeah, yeah to, to your point, I absolutely appreciated that, uh, you know, if this is a permanent, you know, it has the look of a temporary sign, I think is what, what is what I'm hearing. And, and I see, see some nodding there. Uh, so yeah, that, that absolutely makes sense that, uh, you know, again, this was a, uh, a sign. We had hoped to have something like this up uh, uh, quite a while ago, but realized that we need to uh, uh, go, uh, go, uh, go through this uh, uh, go through this system. And so we were kind of like well, holding on to uh, uh, the image and the materials. And uh, you know, we know we can process this and turn it around. Uh, you know, once we work with the building ins uh, uh, inspector on the final uh, punching up of things, uh, uh, pretty quickly. Uh, as opposed to something that might be more permanent and uh, uh, more to the, uh, the the look that you folks would be interested in, but you know we're looking at three months, uh, six months <laughs> before we might actually have something looking uh, uh, the the way we would want it to be, uh, and, and uh, uh, construction wise as well. Thank you. Yeah, so I appreciate that, that. That's a good idea that I hadn't even occurred. That uh, a permanent uh, sign like this, maybe to to your point, can have a sort of like end date or a point at which we need to revisit it. Well, I mean, you're kind of. It's one of those things. Like, yeah. you know, me personally, I think you know it's a good business. We want to make sure that you know you guys are getting the customers, and you know it's not really affected residentially, but you know long term. You know, just like we did, we had a deal with Pelican sign and, you know, th this topic will be, is reoccurring sometimes more frequently the, uh, than others. And, you know, for uh, for tonight, we got four of us. So you need all four of us to vote yes to, to get this permit. So, um, you know, we can always entertain conditions that would satisfy the members if they would be willing to support it. Um, so... You know, I'm open to <clears throat> whatever the, the membership wants to do if, um, you know, and and then, you know, bring back to the other, you know, your other staff that if this is going to be a permanent thing, then, you know, maybe we should invest in taking health and fitness off the building mm -hmm. and putting up um, some type of permanent signage that represents the Newell brands as an outlet center or something like that, where you can come back for a, for a permit specific, that's, that would be different. Right. You know? But we could, we could temporarily allow this, allow it to pick a date. Yeah. Do we look at a, uh, yeah, a, do we look at a, a, a month? Month. 
Yeah, um, I'm going to yeah, answer, uh, answer by Mr. Potter. Answer, uh, Mr. Potter. Thank you, Adam. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if I should be more aware, but is is this um, banner up now, or is it uh, is it not up now? No, it is not no, up. It is not up. Yeah, we, we, okay. we have, we, we have uh, two, two smaller, kind of like three bytes, kind of three bytes, kind of in its place right now. Place right now. And, and, and I'm understanding it correctly that the idea for this proposed banner is that it will wrap around and it will be um, uh, fully visible signage on each side, or is it a continuous signage that goes from one side around to the other side? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a, a signage, but it's, signage, double, but it's the double the image, double image essentially. Okay. essentially. You have yeah. one outlet, outlet and then, and then another, outlet. another outlet. So, like, so like the, the, T, the won't T won't be on the corner, on of, the the corner of the building. Correct. Correct. Yeah, so each, yeah, so each, each image is actually uh, closer to 7 by 14. We're just doubling the image. To, to seven and does, can somebody does somebody have the measurements of what is the largest permissible? Uh, oh, if they were to if they were weren't together, would they would they not uh, have a special permit? I I'm not sure how to best phrase it, but but what is the typical standard uh, beyond what size do you need to get the special permit? What are they? Uh, what's okay. what's the, yeah, but it's over 32 square, square feet. feet. So, for example, most of our banners are 3 by 10, which makes them 30 square feet, which means anything larger than that now is why we're here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. That's my questions. Thank you, Adam. Okay. Laura, do you have anything? Um, the only thing I was thinking about is if we were to put... Um, you know, have do it temporarily and have them come back, which I think is a really interesting idea. Um, I'm thinking about the six to nine month time frame um, that he was speaking about. And I, my thoughts would be maybe doing first six months of it up and then coming back um, sometime in the summer to see because I worry that if it's nine months, that'll impact them because that would be um, around October, November. And I wouldn't want them to have to take it down during their busiest time. So I would think more like having the banner up for six months or a year over the after the holiday um, or do the six month and come back and discuss. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense to condition it as a we'll grant the would grant the permit with the expiration being June 30th. And then, you know, that gives Yankee Candle, Newell Brands time. They could come back before that. Sure. So if if they decide in May that they're going to permanently do this or, you know, they could schedule it, you know, in advance. And then, you know, then that way. You can handle it in June, um, and then you know, they're good. They're approved to hang it up, you know, for the start of the fall season if it's something temporary, or if the board's satisfied with the temporary signs, they could, you know, we, you know, just be a short hearing like this, and it wouldn't even be a hearing. It'd just be, you know, part of the conditions of the permit. And if they don't meet the conditions of the permit, then they don't have it. Yeah. Amy. Okay. So we're in agreement. Yeah. Amy, does that make sense to you? Um. Yeah, I think if you condition it um, with uh, an end date, but yeah, you would want to revisit it. I'm. I'm not sure if you'd need to have a second hearing when you revisit. Um, but if you want to make the, the condition that they need to come back in six months to see if you want to go ahead and extend this, then I think that's fine. And I can, you know, check with uh, other people in town to find out if they think it needs to be a hearing. Yeah, I would just make the wording, you know, as long as the other members are, that it would be a status review um, 
condition before June 30th, 2024 um, to determine if any additional conditions need to be made. And if the applicant agrees to it, I think we're, we're legal, you know, that the applicant agrees and that we agree. Um, yeah. Um, why can't we just um, grant, grant the special permit slash variance until June 30th? And then they would have to come back sometime in May or June to, to you know, ask us for a more permanent arrangement. Um, I think that that's a fine idea, too, if that's what you're on board with. I'm not against that either. Um, I just think that gives the board a little more sort of authority that we haven't said yes to this permanent sign forever. Yeah, I'm fine with um, that. I mean, it may, it, it'll be up for a while. We'll see whether it is in character of the neighborhood, right? I mean, we may <laughs> all become so used to it that that it's fine, or it may be flapping in the wind, or who knows what. Um, you know, or we may realize it. It does seem too big and out of character, and not a nice sign. Um, so that that I, that's all I would say. I just um, all right. It's splitting okay. hairs, but I just it seems to sound like we should grant them a. Especially because there is some, there's a little bit of waffling on the applicant's part about, um, I don't say that a, a criticizing, I'm saying it sounds like they are, the corporate is is still deciding how best they want to approach this part of their business. Um, so it's, um, we're just being a little bit more restrictive, I suppose, because maybe that timeline sounds a bit short to them. Um, but if in fact Laura is correct about when their busy time is, of course we don't want to interfere with that. So let's. It sounds like June thirtieth is a good time. Yeah, but, but June thirtieth is uh, uh, certainly better than I think uh, nine months exactly when when it would just be getting busy again. Yeah. All right. Uh, any members of the public, Amy, want to speak that you can see? Uh, sorry, um, Adam, I've had my hand up. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I, it's hard to see the microphones in front of the. I team. appreciate that. Yeah, no okay. problem. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I want to express that um, I'm I'm not um, in alignment with what I hear as the momentum right now, um, and I I I want to express why. Okay, go ahead. Um, I think you know the the applicant. Um, has made a fair presentation. I understand their concerns and their needs, and uh, you know, certainly, uh, I'm not opposed to uh, supporting a thriving business in our town. But um, you know, I, I was able to pull up the dimensions um, so that I could sort of uh, speak to them specifically as a follow-up that I had before. Um, the dimensions of the sign are seven by twenty-eight. Correct. Yes. Um, and what we're saying is that anything over 30 square feet requires a special permit. Uh, 32. Yep. 32. 32. Thank you. Right. Right. Uh, so uh, this is uh, triple that size, I think about 210 square feet versus no, it's well more than that, I, I, right? Seven by 28 is, is uh, somebody who wants to do the math, I just estimated it to be about 200 square feet. Um, and I, I, I guess I'm, you know, hearing the indecision or uncertainty of the applicant as to the duration or the viability of this uh, business venture, I'm not hearing what is the compelling interest and does it fulfill each or any of the requirements that we need to check off the list as far as our vetting of these applications? Um, we recently, as a board, entertained a similar request um, and we responded very differently, as I recall, that we said, we wanted, uh, before a permanent sign was to go up, we wanted to see um, a temporary replica 
so that we could eyeball it. And they agreed and uh, we appreciated it. And I think it, it succeeded. Uh, in this case, my question is, does this wraparound banner represent any potential permanent, real permanent sign version? If it were to succeed and you were to go forward, could you imagine, and I hear I'm addressing the applicant, I'm sorry, I don't know your first name or your last name at this point either, but anyway, um, it, would this sign wrap around? Is that, is that, is, you know, are you proposing that or are you not proposing that? Are you talking about if we were to move on to uh, yes. yet another, what you would describe as a more permanent sign than uh, than the present banner that's being? Uh, yeah, a truly permanent sign. Yeah. When you've committed to it as a truly permanent business, could you imagine it being a wraparound? Yeah, like I mean, just, just uh, in terms of uh, marketing and uh, how we would want to uh, uh, to play something to to catch. Uh, uh, the attention of either the, the folks driving by or the people driving into the lot and not sure where this is, it's the, it's the perfect location. It may not, uh, if it wasn't uh, adhered directly uh, to the building itself, I can imagine something that wasn't a wraparound, but still uh, sort of freestanding at, at that, that same corner or some, but some variation. It's a, that's in terms of marketing, that's a, a a hot piece of real estate, I think, uh, in, in that portion of the property. I totally understand. So a, a, a lot yet to be figured out um, um, and and not something that you can say with any def, you know definitiveness right now that this is this is um, Correct. okay. So um, I guess my feeling would I, I would feel, uh, more comfortable with a shorter temporary time frame that resembled more of what uh, the other company did, the other applicant. They were saying they're going to do something just like what they're hanging up, and they we all wanted to eyeball it. Um, you know, here we don't even know if this business is going to, you know, per persist past X number of days or months why why not give a short time frame um they can consider what it looks like um if they're willing to pursue this on a permanent basis maybe they should get a permanent idea of what that sign's going to look like and and then approach us um with that uh, you know so, maybe, so, maybe, you know, maybe all, all right i think i hear what you're saying dave so we could uh maybe keep the public hearing open until the maybe before April 1st, or I don't know what, you know, it's almost February or March 1st or middle of March and allow the applicant to hang the sign as a review as part of the public hearing like Pelican did. That's, I'm just saying it, it, it yeah, there's an equivalence there that gives us um, uh, continued leverage and, and, uh, and evaluation. I'm not opposed to that. I mean, is it, I mean, what do the other members think? I, you're kind of oh. the, the applicant here, Ben, Mr. Ware is just he's got to get everybody's support to hang his sign. If one person abstains or says no, or or says no, then or he can always withdraw, or he can say, let's wait until all like until our other members are present. Um, you know, but we could as part of the public hearing ask for it to be hung up and and this pick an, another date down the road for the public hearing to continue I yeah I mean I I think in all honesty and frankness why can't they I don't even know what they have up now if they have any signage now but why can't they put up signage that conforms to the requirements and doesn't exceed and doesn't need a special permit and why don't they draw up plans for a permanent situation if they're comfortable and confident that that's a permanent business venture you know, um, um, but Dave, is, isn't that this is sort of a step in this is a step in that direction of what they're trying to do, because they, they have some signs up already. Okay. Yeah. And, 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 yep. and there's some little so now signs. This is, now this is like an interim next big, big sign, but they're not committed to it. This is not a design that that he's comfortable at all saying it will. This is you know what I'm saying? This is not a draft. This is just a let's get big. And then we'll see. 
I'm not sure why we ought to give a special permit to that. Well, they, they, well, again, and I'm, I'm sort of in a compromised position here. I think that they are trying to drive traffic, more traffic, because they have a ton of people both driving by and in their parking lot driving out um, who may not yet be aware of this resource there, which is a bunch of pretty well-known brands that they're trying to sell. So you're kind of, I mean, right. I think what, what I guess I'm in arguing for the applicant, I think they want to get a bigger sign up there to see whether this is a viable, more permanent um, situation for, for them. Correct. And, so, uh, and if I can interject, uh, I, I think if you were to, to ask any number of uh, people who, uh, you know, de de designed the signage, uh, who are planning uh, uh, the inventory, are planning on the, uh, the ongoing existence of, of this outlet sale, uh, that as far as they're concerned, uh, th this is going to be a permanent, uh, a permanent sale in that location, and that uh, as far as they were concerned, this is uh, the, the the permanent signage. What I'm sort of responding to is uh, uh, the sense that uh, uh, from from the board that it doesn't give the feel of permanent signage. So now I, I'm trying to look ahead to sort of meet uh, what what you folks are are hoping to see, uh, assuming this continues as a permanent location, and can we get something that represents a, a, a more permanent look uh, to it? Uh, but as I said, walking into this meeting, uh, as far as anybody who I've uh, conversed with, uh, uh, their opinion was, hey, this is a, a sale that's going to go on uh, either def uh, uh, definitely, uh, and this is the signage we wanted to commit to as the permanent signage through next year. So uh, you know, I apologize if it, if it sounds like I'm waffling. I'm uh, uh, trying to to respond more to the sense of the sign uh, and your impression of it as a not permanent sign uh, than the fact that uh, all discussions right now are sort of like an all in on this sale. But I can't I, with with uh, I can't in good conscience say that a month from now, two months from now, we look at things and say, "Hey, this isn't working. We need to change direction." I just don't want to. Uh, uh, to to commit to that. No, I understand that, um, and and uh, you know, but I also understand and want to make it clear that this is not being proposed as a sketch of the design that you have in mind for the permanent one. Correct. Yeah. You know, okay. and well, and I would be more comfortable with a with a permanent sign or with this proposal, you know, in the center not on the corner, the facing five and 10 side. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of more, I mean, I, you know, I, instead of having them, you know, almost like connected, I mean, I see you're trying, and I see you're trying to get the parking lot side of it too. And I, I understand what you're trying to do. And I just, I don't want to go down the path of non-permanent signs, you know, non-permanent fixtures. Because, you know, or, you know, outlets and, and stuff like that. I, I will, I want to support the proposal. I mean, I think there's a couple of different ways to do it that requires Newell Brands to work with what the best interest of the town is as the members of the zoning board, you know, kind of our gatekeepers on this signage stuff. So, um, can I just ask a clarified question um, again? Is the is the the sign that I'm looking at the blue sign? Are there going to be two of them, meaning one on each corner there, or is the full sign what we have going to be elongated and wrap around the whole thing? In other words, is it just going to say outlet once? No, it's going to say outlet twice. So, it's so, so okay, so what? It's going to be two separate signs, but they're just right on that corner. Correct. Okay. Okay. So in a funny way, it's it it may <laughs> it's actually almost well you could argue it's half as big as that two hundred and ten. Each each sign is about a hundred something square feet. 
it's just that you've stuck them together. So it's one huge one. Yeah, and we already have uh, two uh, separate uh, unconnected uh, three by 10 signs yeah. in, in those locations. Yeah, as you kind of drive, yeah, yeah. So Beth, to your point, David, I guess I'm um, not sure. Your shorter timetable seems more geared towards us kind of checking it out and making sure it's okay, as opposed to letting them run it, run it for their business for a while and then uh, us having a, a check-in. Well, Dave Potter wanted to, you know, go through and see, um, you know, they prov provided a summary of if it met the special permit criteria in the applicant packet, right? So they um, they filled that out. So that would be, you know, if we wanted to move forward and close the public hearing, uh, we could go through that if no one else from the public wanted to. But if the board felt that they wanted to keep the public hearing open for, you know, 30, 60, 90 days and have them put up the signage, so we can make a more informed decision. That's, you know, that's basically up to our discretion. We can do it that way, or we can say no, they can withdraw, or we can do an expiration date of June 30th. Uh, I, I have a, a, a question for um, my fellow board members. Uh, and 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 uh, that's a clarification as to whether the uh, material and style of this sign is part of the need to request a special permit. You know, uh, is is is. I think it's a, it's the square footage with no end date. I think the building inspector uses his best judgment to not to treat people businesses fairly on temporary signage and kind of you know unless they're huge i mean we have the, and this you know came and it's big and it's sh it should be permitted especially because of the sign i mean i'm not a fan of it a fan of giant signs because you know i think this one with the blue and stuff doesn't look nearly as tacky as the ones in Waitley, but I think we have to be cognizant of what people are putting on buildings, size of them, square footage of them. Um, I see where the three by tens aren't quite eye catching enough in this situation because of the size, the distance from the road and the size of it. I think that that's, the main reason why they're here because they need something a little bit bigger because it's not candles. It's something different, but I would hope that if they were going to put a permanent outlet and expand the business permanently there, they would make some improvements to the building, take health and fitness down, come back and see us with a permanent design where we could help with placement, where it's done in a more characteristic place that better is better for, for everybody because you know a lot of their brands have nice logos so they could even space them out on the building and and do some other things so okay I, I can I can move forward in that direction I think it's uh yeah something that I can I can get behind if you guys are thinking that the the six month uh, and then they have to come back with a with a different plan a better thought out something more detail well and or, or and or we were, we're reviewing it i don't know that we're saying automatically I have to do something different well uh, no exactly well yeah. yeah exactly sure yeah they um we, we will we would review it ourselves but but design wise right they we'd, we'd we'd be considering something of a permanent nature i, I would imagine right we're not well, it'll be up to, like to grant them the opportunity to keep a, a a banner that's flapping on the side of the building. Well, I'm just I, yeah, I don't think we. 
I think that we're calling it a banner because I think they might have called it a banner. I'm sure it's going to be much more fixed than the, the Cheech and Chong ones. But I think the applicant, in a sense, is coming to us with the idea that this might have been their permanent solution. So, so if that is still the case, when they come to us, we will have to make that decision whether we think that's an appropriate permanent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. And, me, and me personally, I mean, I would move it not together. You know, if I, if I was going to, if you were here and these were permanent signs, I would say not stuck together. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and, and uh, what, what would the preference be? Uh, only one sign on one side of the building? No, I mean, I think, yeah, I, I'm not against it in your facing your parking lot yeah. but, and facing the road, but I, I think that you can do something a little bit more creative. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the talent's there. I mean, they own a lot of big companies. I think, you know, we could do something a little bit more creative. Sure. So um, I would make a motion to... Um, grant the special permit um based on the applicants um <clears throat> application with the special permit criteria and the applicant agrees that the permit will expire on june 30th 2024 as a condition and we'll have to make arrangements with the staff to come before the board before that or if they determine to remove the signs then that's fine. Does that I sound good that. with you, Bear? Yep. yep. Is um, that good to the board members. We I think that is there a way to put a provision in there that they're not penalized if, in fact, the board can't get our act together and meet because of you know what I mean, meeting a quorum or whatever. Um, I mean, I'm just saying if if June. Yeah, I mean, well, it would be so that so based on anything that we do, the enforcement agent is the building inspector. Okay. So, you know, Amy and him would communicate that, you know, the applicant reached out and there was a problem on our end. So okay. knowing okay. Bob in that office, they wouldn't, they wouldn't go over there with, with, you Perfect. know. <laughs> gotcha. Ripping signs down off the building. So. Yeah. Good. All right. So I'll repeat that again and see if we get a second. Uh, I'll make a motion to accept the special permit uh, as presented by Ben Ware from Yankee Candle um with his permit criteria meeting the standards for the special permit with the um expiration date of a condition of 6 30 2024 where the applicant will have to make arrangements to come before the board on that day before the board before it expires i'll second that okay uh, amy just uh, i guess Procedurally, uh, you still you had no one that wanted to speak, so we should close the public hearing. Uh, yeah, yeah, you should close the public hearing. Okay. So uh, now that's in, um, I'm going <clears> to <throat> make a motion that we um, close the public hearing. Okay. I'll, can I second that motion? Yes. All those in favor of closing the public hearing, uh, roll call vote. I'll start with Laura. Aye. Okay. Dave Sharp. Dave Sharp, yes. Dave Potter. Dave Potter, yes. And Adam Sikoski, <laughs> yes. Okay. So back to the uh, approval with conditions. Uh, is everybody uh, in favor of that a roll call vote? I'll start with Laura. Laura Pontani, aye. Okay. Dave Sharp. Dave Sharp, aye. Dave Potter. David Potter, aye. And Adam Sokolowski, aye. All right, so uh, reach out to Amy tomorrow uh, on your next steps. And good luck. I would say um, keep, uh, you know, get them up and we'll keep an eye on them. And hopefully, you know, it becomes either a more permanent thing or they, they come down. So I think that's what what we want here in town is nice looking signs that are well done and not so temporary. <laughs>
<laughs> and I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. All right. Have a great night. All right, next order of business. Does anybody want to be vice chair? Dave Potter interest, is interested. Um, good with that. Anybody else we could vote on it and then see you. Or we could wait until all of our members are present, whatever works. How many additional members do we have? Uh, Miss Harrington, Gabby. Oh, yep. Just, just the one right now. So it's five of us. Yep. Then there's a open alternate spot. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm good either way. If we, if anybody wants to talk about it, discuss it. Uh, but if people want to vote on it, um, we can vote. yeah, I, I'll make a motion to uh, have Dave Potter be vice chair. Second that. Uh, any discussion, uh, Laura? I'm sorry, say it again. Any discussion, Laura, or you want to vote for it or yeah. Um I I'm fine with that. That works. Okay, so Laura's in favor. Yeah. Uh Dave Sharp. Dave Sharp, yes. Adam Sokolowski, yes. Dave, do you want to vote for yourself for the minutes? Uh, <laughs> what if I recuse? Yeah, right. That's my abstain. I'll, I'll abstain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Amy, it, I know it just came to light today, so it wasn't anticipated uh, more than 48 hours ahead. Do Can people do that joint meeting with the planning board? Um. Yeah. So I was going to ask, let's see, I had, um, I know there was one person who can't come. I'm trying to, I had to have to look at my email but uh the people present so we need four people minimum is that yeah. correct yes so adam you can be there um david sharp can you attend a meeting on yeah. uh yeah i sent you an email as long as the finance committee ends on time i'll be, I'll be there okay and david potter also yeah yeah i i was un i'm unable to attend monday night meetings Okay, yeah, that's what I'm remembering. So I guess we're, I think, did Gabby, hold on, I'm just going to take a look at my email. I think Gabby said she can be there. So, um, yeah, you would have a quorum. It just, it, it's nice to be able to combine the whole thing because then the applicant only has to present once and you can get it all over with at the same time. Um, yeah, if you guys are good with that. I, I have to get this into the paper by tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for it to actually happen. So um, if you guys can commit and Gabby says yes, then we can go ahead and do that. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with it. I um, That's one of the nights in February that I am available later in the month. I got a bunch of stuff going on. Um, but, uh, you know, even if we don't vote on it um, that night and we pick another night to vote on it, um, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So, I okay. Um, I would I would like to do it with the planning board, and then the applicant can just give the presentation once, and we can have this, you know, planning board's input there too. Okay. Yeah. As long as I can uh, get it in the paper, and then you know, force comes to worst, you don't have a quorum, so it's not you know, you guys aren't part of that meeting, but and well, we, we can, can schedule can... a separate one. But um, yeah, we'll we'll figure that you do have a quorum and uh, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, well, maybe the maybe the board will appoint another alternate too. I mean, if someone yeah. applies, so. Okay. All what's right. Our, what's what's our quorum? I believe it's four. And and I'm just curious, housekeeping, why and and why did you say we had to have a unanimous vote on that last or on in, on that last issue? Is that for, in the for, bylaws? We need two thirds. Two thirds of the full committee, or two thirds of the quorum. I, for it to pass, I was under the impression that you need two thirds of who's present. Of who's present. Okay. Right. So we could have done three out of four then. Yeah, I'll have to double check. I. Okay, I was just curious about that. 
I'll double check because I thought when there's four, it has to be anonymous. There was a law change though last Charlie Baker did to some type on I maybe it's a variance. You have to have more than two thirds. Does that make sense with that? Maybe it's or seventy-five. I'm I'm not sure. I just I I mean I haven't digested all these bylaws yet. So yeah, <laughs> but I, because you said it, I thought you had some chapter and verse. Maybe the I I knowledge. I, I know that there is a lot of the stuff with zonings needs two thirds, not a majority. Yeah, but I know they changed some of it for to a majority. Yeah. Okay. But I I will double check with Amy this week. Yeah. Okay. I'm all for consensus, but I imagine that there will be times when we yeah. might not get anything done if we all have to agree. Right. Yeah. All right. I'll have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All right. Second that. Great. Thanks, Adam. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Thanks Bye. very much. Take care. Bye, everyone. <laughs>